Hello everyone, this is Enormous with Tech Defense, and today for the Tech Tip, we're going to go over the Harvester on Tech Tip Episode 6. Alright, so in Tech Tip Episode 5, we went over the uh, Backtrack 5 R3 release and talked about some of the new tools there. And uh, with Uber Harvester and URL Crazy, I had mentioned that I know they're great tools, but um, particularly with Uber Harvester, I really enjoyed uh, uh, the Harvester better than Uber Harvester. Um, so uh, in this episode, we're going to go over the Harvester a little bit and what you can get out of it. So, of course, open up your terminal and go to cd slash pentest enumeration and the harvester. Quick ls on this directory will show you the different options here. And just to show you the options of the actual Perl script, there you go. So the harvester, like uh, I guess Jigsaw and Uber Harvester, is a good tool for doing some passive reconnaissance. Um, in this scenario, or in this one here, uh, we have a few options, one for domain, um, we have another option that's going to um, check out uh, or export to HTML and XML. Uh, so that's your common export options, but you can just pipe it to a file if you want. Um, over here are the ones that are, I guess matter, uh, or at least in the demo that I'm going to give. Uh, you can do some DNS brute forcing. Um, of course, you can have some reverse DNS queries for the domains it finds and the IPs associated with those. And we'll talk about what you can get out of those in a little bit. Um, we can limit the number of results. So if you're doing somebody like Microsoft.com, the results are going to be outrageous. So you don't want to um, you, you don't want to leave it open ended. Uh, you'll be sitting there forever. So here you can limit it to 100, 200 results if you wanted. And then you have the tech B, uh, where you choose what to search uh, or what databases to look at. Um, so uh, one note is uh, tech B all does not actually do everything. It'll do a good majority of these, but it won't look in, for instance, LinkedIn. So you have to search that one off on your own. So here's a couple of the examples we're going to run today. And I'll show you the results of those. So again, here, uh, the good thing about a tool like this is um, it's all passive, right? So we're not actually making any queries against these servers ourselves. Um, we're just using sources like Google, um, Bing, Yahoo, and LinkedIn to learn more about a company and who is there. So for instance, uh, we want to learn more about tech defense. We're going to do techdefense.com. Uh, we're going to limit it to 50, although there's really no need to do that because the results aren't going to be near that high. And uh, just to show you what the all result will look like, and I'm going to skip tech n right now. Uh, I'm not going to do the reverse query, uh, reverse DNS query because it, it takes too long. But I'll do that at the end, and we'll skip forward a little bit when we do that portion. So as you can see, it's going to check out Google, and it shows you what it's looking for. And here's the quick results. So uh, emails it found, my email, uh, a couple of generic ones that we have at Tech Defense. Uh, in addition, it's going to uh, run some DNS queries on Tech Defense to see what resides there. And that's going to give you some quick information about who else resides at that same IP. Um, you ask why would that be useful? Well, if I'm a large company and I, and I own my own hosting IP space, let's just show, show you everything else that happens to be resolving to that IP that uh, you know maybe admin.techdefense.com is something I want to take a look at. Um, or if you look at this and you see a whole bunch of things that are indicative of a particular hosting platform like Amazon Web Services, then you know uh, you know where they're purchasing their hosting from, and that's just a little bit more information you can use in your pen test. Um, so why do we do this at all? Why do we look at any of this information at all? Um, and it, it's really you know finding out as much information as you can before going into a pen test. This really helps out in a blind pen test where they say, all right, here is our company name. Have at it. 
right? Uh, when you're in a scenario like that, you don't get IPs, you don't get particular hosts that you're supposed to look at. Um, it's up to you to figure all that out. Um, so by doing this, we know, hey, this guy here might be a good person to send a phishing email to, uh, or maybe here because we think HR is probably looking at this one, not uh, anybody technical. So we could send a, a nice little phishing email here uh, with our resume attached, and when they open up that resume, maybe it's not a resume, maybe it's something more malicious, just stuff like that. Um, so this is a good way, uh, and, and I do this all the time, I do little practice runs. So I, I go and pick out a company, and I say, what if they asked me to do a blind pen test on them, what would I do? And this is how I start. So I, I put their company name in here, and uh, I look at the domain and see what else is going on there. Um, but beyond just seeing what the hosts are involved, uh, you know, the power of this tool is I can also check and see, uh, let's, let's check out LinkedIn and see, okay, so these are people that are associated with LinkedIn in some manner, right? Or with uh, Tech Defense on LinkedIn. And let's just open this up a little bit and let's take somebody who probably has a little more results than I do and let's look at securitytube.net. Okay, so here are all the people that have profiles uh, with security tube referenced in there. Pretty interesting. Um, so as I showed you before, you do have some other options, right? So we can uh, DNS brute force, so that's going to look for, all right, so we know that techdefense.com is this. Now it's going to try techdefense.com slash admin or admin.techdefense.com email.techdefense.com, mail.techdefense.com, you know, all these different options that um, a lot of companies will, will leverage. So let's show you a quick example of how to do the reverse lookup in here. So we'll do uh, techdefense.com again since that is a smaller range. And let's do tech all again. And this time we're going to add the tech n option which of course is going to perform a reverse DNS lookup. So you see it doing what it did previously. And here you see it find the host. Oh, I did security tube again. But here you see it find the host for security tube. So now what it's going to do is for each of these networks for the entire slash 24 it's going to uh, look up any hosts that are alive and if any of them are alive, it's going to do a reverse DNS lookup on them. And again, all we're hoping to find here is more information that would help us in an attack against, say, security tube in this, answer, in, in this scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this runs. And once it comes back up, we will uh, take a look at the results. OK, so we're back. Um, I went ahead and canceled the security tube one because there's just so many IPs I didn't want to wait for it to go through that and restart it as tech defense. So here, um, again, it's searching Google, checking PGP, Bing, a bunch of different data resources. It found the same things it found before. So with this 65 network that it saw that I'm on, it ran a slash 24 uh, sweep of the network to check for any other host that um, happened to resolve on that and it didn't find any other IPs on that slash 24 that had any uh, domains assigned to it but it did find that 54 had several more um, different domains attached or uh, that resolved to it so then based on this you could get a, a good clue to hopefully where I'm being hosted who owns this space so we could then you know take out uh, go look at this IP address and Rob Text or whichever network tools that net whatever whatever you use and see who owns that block of IPs um, and then uh, you know, based on that you can see oh, okay he's using WordPress or he's using uh, some type of particular hosting that's vulnerable to a specific attack and and now you have an avenue of approach but that covers about what I wanted to uh, talk about here with the harvester. Um, so like always, if you enjoy this, head over to techdefense.com to see more stuff like it. And uh, 
if you want to ask any questions or have a particular topic you'd like me to cover, hit me up at enormous at techdefense.com. And uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks, everyone.